Inflation is finally under control, or is it? Let's talk about it. Hello everybody, Joe Werbeck coming at you. And the inflation numbers just came in and they are exactly where we expected them to be, right around 4%, 4.05% to be specific. And this is great news because what this means is that what the Fed has been doing has worked. Now, we could say that inflation was going to come down anyway, but let's give it to Powell. Let's say that what Powell has been doing in raising interest rates has worked and inflation has come down. And the good news is that at the meeting tomorrow, it looks like he is going to pause raising interest rates, which is exciting because that means that we can start to see some recovery from this insanity that we've been seeing in terms of interest rates hitting five to five and a half percent in a very short window. This has been the most aggressive interest rate increase in the history of the country, and it's finally coming to an end. And expectations are that next month, the inflation data should fall to the low threes, which is very, very close to the Fed's goal of a 2% inflation rate. Now, really, Inflation doesn't have to be 2%. Anywhere from 2 to 3%, even 4% is healthy in the economy. But Powell had to have a goal. He couldn't say, well, we want to lower rates to around 1% to 4%. That's not what he's going to say. He had a target, 2%. He stuck to it. And it looks like we are going to achieve that shortly. However, there is a concern that we could blow past 3 go past 2%, and I'm worried that we could actually hit deflation, which would not be good for the economy. So here's to hoping that tomorrow Powell does not raise interest rates, and next month in July, I'm hoping that he doesn't raise rates again. However, the street believes that he will, in July, raise rates one last time. Now, I don't know why he would do that, a 4% inflation rate is less than 50% of what it was just a few months ago when it exceeded 9%. So as you can see, inflation is coming down. This is what we want to see. Gas is down. Eggs are down. Price of cars are down. The most important areas of our economy are coming back under control. There are some outliers, but there's going to be outliers for a while. Remember, the entire global economy shut down for close to two years. We've never seen this before. We didn't know what the outcome was going to be, but now we're seeing that it was inflation, and it looks like most of the world's economies have raised interest rates to get inflation under control, and we may be out of the woods. So we saw the markets respond positively today. I believe that when he makes the announcement tomorrow that there's no rate increase, we'll see the markets respond positively. However, there are a lot of naysayers out there who are still expecting a massive 14, 18, 20% decline in the stock market, which I don't really understand why they're predicting that. We already had two bear markets in a very short period of time, 2020, 2021. So why they expect a third to occur is beyond me, but there's always going to be somebody who takes the opposite side. There's going to be someone who wants to get their name in the press and they're going to be out there. If somebody says things look good, there's going to be someone out there who predicts that the economy is going to tank. So what do I think? Heck, I don't know. Time will tell. I'm feeling positive about this. It looks like the markets are going to continue to recover. It looks like we avoided a recession, and that's what Powell was trying to achieve. And so I'm hoping that he doesn't come into this and say, well, I haven't had my recession yet. And even though inflation is down, I'm going to keep raising rates until that recession hits. I don't believe that's going to happen. So we could see a positive year on the S&P, on the Dow, on the NASDAQ. 2023 could be a good year 2024 could be a better year, but we'll have to wait and see. If you have a well-diversified, protected portfolio, you don't have to worry about this and you're not going in there and reacting because you were proactive with the way you managed your assets. So in summary, inflation is down the lowest it's been in over two years. It looks like the Fed's going to pause. The great thing is we have two back-to-back -back Fed meetings, so we don't have to wait long to see. We're going to have a Fed meeting here in June, and then we'll have another one next month in July, and that could set the stage for a great economic and market recovery. But if you want to learn more about that, make sure you check back at my channel every single week. Check out some of my other previous videos. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you next week. 
Thank you for watching.